What's up guys and welcome back to the ranch series and the only problem with today is that we had a huge storm last night and I got almost like the entire driveway flooded out here and then of course the the least elevation of the property is like a whole flood but guys I woke up and saw that and I was like all right it was a huge rain thunder wind all like almost almost a hurricane level but it wasn't um really bad storm last night but um it wasn't it wasn't a hurricane so i didn't expect any um trees to fall down so i woke up saw these two puddles and i was like all right i got in my truck this morning and i started to drive up the driveway and i saw this a big very large tree fell down and it fell right in my driveway and please tell me it didn't ruin the flag. All right, good. We still got the Canadian flag flying up there. It, oh my God. Look at that, guys. This statue means so much to me, obviously. Um, but it literally just missed an inch. In, okay, it hit the bottom, but that's fine. It missed it by an inch. I cannot even understand that. So, of course, I don't have a freaking chainsaw, so now I have to go to my friend Jim's house. He lives in town. He um, retired from being a farmer a while, a while back. And, uh, big storms was one of the reasons why. Because if you got a big storm and your entire farm gets wiped out, and yep, you are screwed. Come on, get up the deal. Alright, so we gotta go to his house, borrow his chainsaw, and we will get on back here and clean this up. It's gonna be a short video. That's annoying, though. All right, let's see if we can even squeeze out of here. I think so. Whoa. Oh, that's gonna be a tight one. I mean, I could hit it a little bit. It's not gonna like damage it too bad. All right, he's his house is this way. So let's get on down the road and put some weeds down. All talking with Jim. He got me my chainsaw. It's a steel chainsaw. Um, not a steel like metal chainsaw, like a literal. It's That's the name of it. S-T-I-H-L. Most of you probably know what that is. Um, we're just going to use this to chop up that tree and hopefully we can get um, the tree into small enough pieces to where we can just uh, use it for firewood for the winter. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad at all. So let's get back toss that into the bed and we'll get on down the road back to our ranch. Here we go. That was nice and quick and easy. Get it all ready for me.
Oh my god. Are you stupid? This guy. You know what? Good thing I have a bull bar in the front. Freaking idiot. Um, Alright, sorry about that. Uh, we're almost back at the ranch. We're gonna trap up the street, and then the video's gonna end because I gotta be somewhere very soon. So let's get back here to the ranch. Can't believe that big tree fell down like that easily. That that tree was planted like a uh, year and a half ago, and it went up like a rocket. I'm gonna tell you. That tree just grew, man. It grew, and now it fell down. So that sucks. All the other ones were planted at the same time, and they are the exact same trees and didn't fall. Very interesting. Alright, I don't know if I could even chop this with this. Um, oh, yeah, I can, I guess. Oh, there we go. This is going to take a while. This thing struggled a little bit with these thick logs. Actually, that's pretty awesome. This thing's awesome. i got to thank Jim a lot for doing this. He didn't have to lend me this. Surprising that his trees fell down. Way smaller than mine. I don't know why. There's so many reasons why this thing could fell down. Getting dark out already, oh my god. We gotta hurry this up. Even if I just get it all chopped up and it's still in the even in the driveway, I'll be happy because then tomorrow morning I could just move it. Alright, oh, oh my god. Step back from that a little bit. Uh, Alright, let's just start chopping it up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to lift too much of this, so I'm just chopping like that. If I'll even be able to lift this, I don't know. Let's see. Find out. Let's see if I can lift it. Uh, can I? It says object too heavy. Alright, we need to cut them even smaller, so like this. Alright, this is going to take a lot longer than I um, thought. So, I recommend you fast forward to the end of this video because I would not want to sit here and watch me cut logs for eight years. But, if you want to stay, you can enjoy some music while I'm cutting down a tree. Alright guys, I just came up with an idea. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rent a skid steer or a forklift to just push these logs that I'm going to make. Because I don't have time to sit here and make them all this size. So I'll be able to lift these ones and toss them out of the way. Maybe I can go sell it. But, um, yeah. So, the only problem with this is that I'm not sure if a skid... Actually, a skid steer should be fine. So we're going to cut them about this size and um, we'll get to it.
one's a little bit big. I don't know that. If that's going to be able to lift it. But we'll try. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh, yeah, we got a lot left. this off camera and I will join you guys next time and we're probably going to open the next video with a um, uh, renting a skid steer. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.